Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing a flip through of my January spread for my book journal. You guys really seem to like the other video I posted of me doing a flip through. So I decided to do one for January and kind of it also be like my monthly wrap up. So let's just get started. So I ended up reading nine books. Surprisingly, I'm very proud of myself for that and I just colored it in based off of what type of format I read it. But them were ebooks so I colored in two of these for January. I don't really know if I'm supposed to do this for this little spread. Let me know because I just found it on Pinterest but then realized I don't really know what it means. Like does it mean how many pages I just read each day? Like did I read on an ebook that day because there are 31 so now i'm confused so if you know what this means let me know but anyways so i read nine books like i said so i did the little chart like that and then here are all the book links that i tallied and then here's my book shelf I read yellow face the long game yours truly by abby jimenez get out of your head and I reread the Akatar series and finally read A Court of Silver Flames for the first time. So this was a really good month for me. <laughs> no five stars for this month, technically. Technically, I did give A Court of Mist and Fury five stars when I read it the first time. And I still agree with that rating. Like I would still give it five stars a year later. But... I didn't know if I should put it a part of this since I've read it already or not. So still going to be thinking about that. I don't know. Maybe if I need to fill in this area a little bit more towards the end of the year, maybe then I'll add it. I don't really know. Let me know what you think. And then here's my A to Z challenge. I did a few. The T always confuses me because I'm like, I know people don't really count B that much but I did it anyways. So <laughs> there's that. And then my book bingo, I actually colored in quite a few this month. I did a reread, a popular book, which was Yellow Face, a new author for me, which was the author for Get Out of Your Head. And then a book with more than 500 pages. Most of the Akatar books are 500 or more <laughs> and then a tbr book which was a court of silver flames because i put it down to take a break from the akatar universe and then that break ended up being a year when it was supposed to just be a month so yeah this has been on my tbr for a hot minute so i'm glad i finally read that and then i finally got to color in all of these i did realize i did this one wrong because first read the last circle should have been this color because Silver Flames was a first read for me. And I just now realized I did that. Wrong. But it's okay. Don't mind it. It's okay. And then only the long game was set in a specific state. Everything else was a fantasy. So there wasn't any mention of states for this one. Um, I haven't read any of these that I wrote down a part of my TBR yet. And then I don't have a top 10 yet. My book of the year little chart, I decided to do yellow face for January because it was just, it's so good. I picked yellow face and that's that. And I did get 300 subscribers on the 16th. I was so happy and excited. Thank you guys for subscribing. So I got to fill that in. Um, and then we can start January. So for January, I did end up adding these little boxes right here that you see so I could keep track of like the specific things I read in January. So two romances, five fantasy, one fiction, one self-help, and then five were physical, one was audio, one was Kindle, and then one was from the library, aka Libby. This is the only page where I did a spread like this. This was for the books that I didn't really have much to say about. So if you want to pause and read, I don't really give much of an intricate review for things. I kind of just have like one sentence type of reviews. So yeah, and these dates are out of order because I wanted to do full spreads for Akatar and I wanted it to be cohesive. 
Some people would rather it be cohesive with the dates of when it was written, but I wanted it cohesive with the pages. So literally, as you can see, my literal review was I would have chosen Lucian. So <laughs> there's that. And yeah, I just printed out pictures from Pinterest with my Kodak printer since the printer we have at home is in black and white and I wanted color. So I just did that in different sizes and had some stickers and scratchbook paper and some washi tape. And yeah, so there was a Court of Thorns and Roses, a Court of Mist and Fury, which is one of my favorites from the series. And literally, I didn't even write anything down for this one. I just said, this is my husband and he's a king to me and one of my favorite quotes. And then A Court of Wings and Ruin, love Helion. So I decided to put a picture of him in here and just like the vibes of the book for me, you know, and then I put another quote and then same for Silver Flames. I really actually enjoyed Silver Flames a lot. Still give it four stars just because I feel like the plot of it was not plotting that much, but the character arc and character development was so chef's kiss. I love, I love the Found family that Nesta gets. It's so good. <laughs> and I had another little quote in here as well. And then lastly, I have yours truly. I decided to do like a cute, short little spread for this one. It's not that well thought out or anything, um, but I really did love yours truly. So I decided to do that. We are going to go ahead and let this one be blank and start our February spread. So this is kind of the picture I want to copy I got it from a YouTuber who's doing a spread and I tried to find the original video, but I seriously can't and I'm, it's, I'm pissed off about it, but I decided to try this. She does like a little login for each book instead. So I think I'm going to do that. And then if I just want to do a spread like this, then I'll do that also, but I won't have to do that if I don't want to. So yeah, I think this one will be really good for me and could end up being one of my favorite ways to do the monthly. We're gonna clip this back so we don't have to hold it. Okay, as you can see, straight lines were not a priority for me. Maybe next month <laughs> they will be though. I already filled in the books I wanna read this month and then the other books I think would be good to read this month as well. So I'm just gonna add some random stickers that I see fit and that will be the end of it pretty much. So that was also a very easy spread. I feel like I'm gonna like this spread a lot just because like, I don't have to print out the book title for something if I didn't really care for it as much. And that will just help me save some paper. So I think that will be good. These are definitely an easier type of book spread for me. And if you are looking for really artistic stuff, then you have come to the wrong place, okay? <laughs> this is my first time ever really doing a book journal as well. So hopefully I get better with times. So maybe did that, like a little, yeah, we could try that. 
Let's rip some out and just glue it to the top and call it a day. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, that's good enough for me. But the more I do these, the better I'll get at it. And the more I'd be willing to use a ruler for moments when I need to. <laughs> but yeah. This is going to be the spread for February, and then here are the books that I want to read in February. If I do, I will just highlight it, and then same with this one, and then tally it as well for the genre, and then I have what format. I'll just tally that as well, and I'll tally the stars as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video, and you kind of got to see my... February TBR as well as the books I read in January in a pretty quick and to the point way so maybe you like that maybe you hate that let me know let me know if you want me to actually do like a wrap-up video or if you like just this little walkthrough from my journal but thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe I'd love to get to 400 subscribers by the end of the month so try help me do that and also follow me on Instagram and I will just see you guys in the next Meet me on the street lights Meet me where the lights fade out Tell me what it feels like